diphilobothriasis. This is essentially an infection with a tapeworm known as diphilobothrium latum or D latum for short. Now this uh, tapeworm is actually a parasite of freshwater fish and humans can acquire it if they eat fish that is raw or undercooked. An example of that, of course, is sushi. Now, D. latum is a tapeworm that can go into a human and in the intestine can absorb the vitamin B12 that we normally get in our diet. And that is the main problem that D. latum infection causes that it leads to vitamin B12 deficiency. Now, what's important to remember is that B12 is a vitamin that's involved in the production of red blood cells. So when you get vitamin B12 deficiency, you get a situation where a patient can develop anemia. In terms of the symptoms, a patient will have vitamin B12 deficiency in the associated anemia and in terms of symptomatology, symptoms of anemia, the, some of the basic ones are the patient will be fatigued, uh, the patient will appear pale, and um, also this patient may have diarrhea as well because the tapeworm will have eggs and the patient will expel those eggs when he has a bowel movement. So when you're trying to diagnose it, you have to keep these basic things in mind. The first test, of course, is a CBC to look at the hemoglobin and hematocrit. And if he is indeed anemic, these will be low. Now, B12 causes a macrocytic anemia. So the key lab value to check for that is MCV, which will be greater than 100, which is the value in macrocytic anemia. And then another test that can be done is a stool test. And the stool test is a test for ova and parasites. And that will show eggs from the tapeworm that has infected the patient. In terms of treatment, you want to use a medication that expels parasites, and in particular parasitic worms. And that medication is Prazy Quantel. And a single dose is usually effective. One single oral dose is usually enough to take care of this infection. Let's take a look at a couple of vignettes. An Ontario fisherman presents with complaints of chronic diarrhea and fatigue. His physician orders a CBC with differential which reveals a megaloblastic anemia. Which of the following organisms is the most likely cause of the patient's problem? Well, the clinical vignette shows you that you have a patient with anemia and that he's a fisherman. Not much information, but you can deduce that perhaps he has eaten undercooked fish and that has caused him to have an infection with D. latum and that is the reason he's got anemia. So the answer to this question is B. And the final one. 71 year old man comes to the physician complaining of fatigue. He has noticed this symptom for the past six months. He occasionally drinks alcohol but does not smoke. His appetite is intact and he admits to being a sushi connoisseur. His past medical history is unremarkable. He has pale mucous membranes. Lab values show a hemoglobin of 9 and an MCV of 104. Stool Ovan parasite test shows eggs. Which of the following is the most appropriate treatment? A little bit more history on this question. He's eating sushi, which is of course raw fish. He's got a macrocytic anemia. And if the ovine parasite stool test shows eggs, you can pretty much be assured that this is a fish tapeworm infection with D. latum. And the treatment is a single dose 
of Praesequantel given orally.